In this video, you're going to learn how to add and customize a testimonial page to add to your website. So starting from the main dashboard, I'm going to be selecting sportsfootage.com and we're going to want to create a new page so we can hover over this page and let's go ahead and select a testimonial page. After making that selection, you will see that a testimonial page has been added under the pages for my website. Now let's go ahead and click on that icon to open it up. So after opening up that page, you will see a template that has been added. Now we cover how to add social media and change and customize text in various sections and other lessons. But what we want to go over is how to customize this and add testimonials for your business. So as you can see, there are three blank testimonials that we need to go in and change. To start things off, we want to be able to hover over any text within this section, navigate to the text icon and go ahead and click on that. As you can see, that is going to pop up a menu bar on the right hand side of the screen where we're going to be able to add a name, date, location and testimonial for this specific person. Let's go ahead and create a name for this. Let's go with just in case, just in case you need a testimonial. I don't need to put in a specific city or location, but you can if you would like to. And let's go ahead and create a new testimonial so we can change the text in here. Let's just say love this product. Best money I've ever spent. And then we can add another bold line here if you'd like. And if you'd like, you can add another line uh, under the credibility section. You can put their title, come in and add another line of text, right? Testimonial number one, for example, or you can put their credibility, you know, CEO at whichever company. Once you're done filling in the name, date, city, location, testimonial and their credibility, you can go ahead and click save. After clicking save, we can go ahead and select an image for them. So let's hover over the image icon and click on image styling. Now scrolling down, you will see the media options here. By clicking on this image, you will see a image pop up where we can select a new image. And here you'll be able to, you know, insert the name just in case you can choose a file and you can click upload and here we can preview that image and we can go ahead and select preview. And this is just an example of an image. You can upload whatever you'd like to within this section by hovering over that image again and coming back to image styling. You have some options. You can, you know, increase the contrast or the brightness of that image. We can also add some margin or padding to the text just to change the aesthetic of the testimonial. And we get into the margin padding um, width and image stylizing in other tutorials, but feel free to play around with some of these different settings until you're happy with how this testimonial section is looking. Now you can repeat this process for these other testimonial placeholders on this page, or you can hover over the entire section and actually delete the element so that you're left with two testimonials. We could also delete this. We would be left with our single testimonial. Now we can also change the text of this section by hovering over the customer testimonials text and clicking that text element. And we can change this text if we would like to, to number one case study, and we can click save. Now, if we wanna get into the details of changing the font of the text, we are gonna hover over it and click on the style text icon. Here we will be able to, you know, again, change the margin and padding of the text. We can change the font by changing the font family under the drop down menu. We can change the color of all the text here. Uh, we can change the thickness, whether it's in italics, capitals. We can change the hover colors. We can change and add backgrounds to the text or add a gradient. All of this we get into in depth in other lessons, but that is how you customize and change images, change the text within the testimonial sections. Previously, I showed you how to delete 
these testimonials, but if you did want to continue adding more testimonials, you could just hover over the outside edge until you see this blue menu bar and click copy testimonial. Now that is going to create a duplicate of your testimonial and you can again go in and change the text. Again, you can continue pressing copy and create as many testimonials as you would like for your page. So that's a general overview of how to get creative with adding and customizing testimonials. And I encourage you to watch some of the other lessons that explain how to work with backgrounds, how to further customize text, padding and stylizing so that you can really create whatever you want to within this software.